Hey guys, Jessica Gubasi here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to get this type of coloring effect. This was the before picture and this was the after picture. Now this is pretty intense. Keep in mind that you can change the intensity of the layers to make this a little bit less crazy. So I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how I did that. The first thing that I did was I went to layer, new adjustment layer, and then gradient map. I really like gradient map because you can just make this, you can tone the whole picture through gradient map. Um, the type of gradient we're using today is the blue and then green and then like a baby pea green at the very end. And I'm going to go from normal to overlay. And honestly, you can spend hours playing with gradient map. I would encourage you to use different colors and different types of, like look at all these layers. Uh, layer settings that you can use I and mean, the possibilities are endless honestly spend like five just don't don't leave your room and just just do this but don't be a hermit though like go out every once in a while every like 10 minutes go outside <laughs> so you you don't become a complete hermit the next thing you want to do is go to layer new adjustment layer and then selective color I love selective color uh, we're keeping this to normal we're not changing the layer setting um, we are going to be well, we're gonna we can start with blacks actually. Magenta just a tiny bit. Then we're gonna go to neutrals. And I love these are my two favorite things to, like the two tabs are neutrals and blacks for me that I really like to edit. And I'm just gonna be adjusting just a tiny bit, just giving this a little bit of color. And then we're gonna go to whites. I don't really use the whites so much, but I don't know, sometimes you can get some nice colors. If you re I don't really like to play with the whites because then it starts to look a little bit like it, it looks too soft for me when I when I replace the white the whites. So just be careful if you want to do that. So I think this is pretty good. Look at that, two layers and we already changed the entire coloring. Uh then we we want to go to layer, new adjustment layer, black and white. Go ahead and check off that tint button right here and it's going to change the color for you. Go to normal and then drop down all the way to soft light. Keep it at 100%. And the last layer is layer, new adjustment layer, color balance. We're going to start at the mid-tones. And I'm just going to be changing the yellows, going to the highlights. I'm sorry if I'm going too fast, you guys. I'm going to try to slow this down. <laughs> um, shadows for the last one. And negative 10. Negative. Honestly, this is all about experimentation. And if I even wanted this less, I would just drop that just a tiny bit. Um, as you can see, each layer is kind of doing something differently. So if you even wanted it to be less intense, just uh, pull the opacity back for the black and white layer because that's really what's controlling how intense it looks right now. Um, but honestly, those are the only layers that you really need to achieve this effect. Uh, hopefully this was helpful and thank you guys for watching.